Welcome to Enslaved Odyssey to the West. This is an action adventure game that is made by Ninja Theory, which you might know as the people behind Hellblade at Senua's Sacrifice. This, however, was released back in 2010, so it's about eight years old at this point. And it's a game that I've heard about for a while. It's supposed to be sort of overlooked. Not an amazing game, but I've heard it's just a pretty solid action adventure. So let's jump right into it. Uh, I've played for about 10 minutes or so, so far, just to get used to the controls and tweak settings, so let's begin a new journey. Play on normal. Welcome to Slave Ship 909, en route to Pyramid. You have been assessed, and any injuries sustained during your capture have been designated as non-life-threatening. Remaining journey time is estimated at 16 hours. If you are experiencing severe nausea or need to relieve yourself, you can to the great position beneath your feet. As pyramid, a new life awaits you, free from the random hazards of the wild. Compliance will be rewarded with safety and sustenance. Non-compliance will be rewarded with pain. Warning. Temperature critical. Structural integrity 30%. Here we go. And control the character now. Um, yeah, this character is such a ridiculously muscly dude. <laughs> Just, <laughs> it looks so ridiculous, I love it. Uh, it's probably not obvious yet, because I don't think they've really said more than a couple words, but this character is actually voiced by Andy Serkis. A lot of explosions early on. Combat mechs activating. Yeah, so this first section is like a bunch of tutorial stuff just showing you how to jump and stuff like that. And you can move on pipes as well. Hey! Where are you going? Let's get off this thing! Also climb on handholds.
Degraded slaves report to escape pods. Escape pods. Now you're talking. Also pipes as well. Rest in peace. Escape pod eight launched. Seven pods remaining. My ride. At least I can get my gear back. This game is so ridiculous. Alright, time to get into combat. Here we go. Come on. So that's just showing you, you got the basic attacks like this, and then you got a stronger attack like this. Combat next. You said not active. Yeah, about that. Got this little shield that we can use. Come on, demonstrate the shield. There you go. And telling us how to evade. So we can block or we can just roll out of the way. Dark Souls style. attack like that they knock enemies away dealing no damage but leaving them vulnerable down for a stun charge attack. It deactivates enemies and breaks their block.
Hey! Hey! Open the door! You mother... Okay, so this is where I've stopped playing, so I have not played past this point. Looks like we gotta jump around to get around the door. It's pretty cool that we're running around on this huge airship over the ocean, and I think there's a view of the city over... Yeah, you can see some of the city over there, too. Kinda. Well, going through a bunch of clouds right now. Got some flames to look out for, I think. Yeah. Yeah, this thing's taking a lot of damage. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, did you just run back there? No, 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 no. Yeah, look at that city. from here. Oh, I see it. Hard to see the handholds. One left. Seconds. 
Warning. Impact. <laughs> Awkward. I'm coming with you whether you want it or not. Nice to see, even as a prisoner, they've managed to keep their spiky tips on their hair. Chapter 2, The Old City. Yeah, it looks like a post-apocalyptic world. And there are a bunch of robots on the ground. Have robots taken over? Shadows look so weird. You. Oh. oh god, my my head feels like it's ripped open. It's the headband. <clears throat> the what? The slave headband. The one I fit on you. You put this on me. Let me explain. Get this thing off, or I'm gonna rip your head off. No. No? You think I'm screwing with you? Yes! Give me a stop! Ah! It works. Come in, move away from me. Ah! Oh. What the hell are you doing? I hacked a slave headband, so it could be activated by my voice commands. Activation triggers a systemic pain response. It's what controls the slaves. I'm gonna kill you. You can't. If my heart stops beating, for any reason, the headband will discharge a lethal dose. If I die, you die. Oh! Slavers don't get me, Max will. That's the deal. Get me back to my home and you can go back to yours. Looks like I don't have a choice. Neither of us do. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's go. Before I continue, uh, give me one sec. I'm gonna see if I can maybe fix the shadow issue. Okay, I managed to find some suggested I and I tweaks to fix the shadows. I'm definitely not the only one who had the problem with the shadows. So I've got those in place. Hopefully they're gonna work. Haven't actually tested it yet, but just from this very first scene here, everything doesn't look completely messed up, so hopefully it didn't at least make it worse. Um, I also increased the field of view because it was pretty small, kind of disorienting, and uh, 
I also wanted to make the voices louder compared to everything else because they seem quite quiet compared to the sound effects, but as it turns out, I discovered that the effects volume actually for some reason includes the voices. Usually voices are a separate slider, but uh, yeah, they're tied in with effects, so can't do much about it. Okay. to give you visual feedback. It's patched into your shield system and my biometrics. And your voice? It's like, it's, it's inside my goddamn head. It is. We have a continuous audio link now. <laughs> Great. up when we landed. Oh, it's a health pack. Shall we keep going? Who are all these people? Who cares? This must have been some kind of gathering point. Is this the way out? Whoa, what the heck was that? Left button at any time to look at your captor. Oh. Yeah, it's an interesting dynamic they're setting up. I'm... <laughs> kind of ironically, I just got off a of prison transport and yet... Well, I'm enslaved. I'm sort of a prisoner again. Oh, that's cool. They just automatically jump this gap. I don't even have to press jump. Bunch of missing posters. Missing, missing, missing. What's this thing? I don't think that's the way out. I just got 500 magic bucks. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't know, some sort of bonus thing? I think the game has collectibles. I think I heard something about that vaguely. So I'm guessing that's probably what that is. It's not a bad looking game. Considering it's eight years old. Yeah, I believe it was originally released on Xbox 360 and PS3 and then later ported to the, the PC. Medical point. Let's go there in a second. I'm curious what's up here. I thought I might be able to jump that, but nope. Hudson Line Departures. Oh! 1500 magic bucks. I'm not sure if I'm actually supposed to be going here, or if this is just for bonus stuff. It's another handhold up there. Yeah, there we go. Movement feels pretty good. It's pretty snappy, really fast and responsive. It's incredible how far and how fast they can jump to things. Five hundred now. Okay, guess that was all just for bonus stuff. I see some more up there too. 
Until I know what the hell they're for, though, I don't feel any great need to get them. I think this must be a drawbridge. Must be to keep Max out. There are some controls here. The other side is blocked. Can you get around and clear it? You bet. Yeah, must have been to keep mechs out, they said. Yeah, given the post-apocalyptic nature of everything. Yeah, I'm guessing mechs definitely took over at some point. Be careful. What was that? Max, keep your voice down. They could be close. What are we gonna do? Not make too much noise. Ooh. I thought I was about to have to fight. I wonder if they can fight. Do they know how to fight? They seem like they're... Well, they're definitely a hacker, at least. I don't think they have a weapon. <laughs> Perfect zoom in. Something I'm wondering is, does my health recharge? Looking at it right now, I don't think it does. We could get out through here. Can you move this? <laughs> He's so ridiculous. I could probably lift an entire city. Was that one of those uh, deer? I don't. I don't know if that was the deer we saw in the cutscene, but it's a deer. Do you think you could tell me what the plan is? To get you home as fast as possible so that you can take this thing off my head and I can break your neck. I meant... Yeah, I know what you meant. See that smoke over there? That's where the slave ship came down. First thing we're gonna do is head for that. Hoping my ride survived the crash. What's your ride? Yeah, it's the only way I know how to cover 300 miles. Two wheels and an engine. There must have been thousands of people living here. More. Tens of thousands? Maybe. It's so sad. I wonder what happened to them all. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Yeah, so far it's just silly, ridiculous fun. And surprisingly good looking, too. I mean, look at this vista. I wish I could do a slow pan, but this is as slow as I can go. Camera's pretty sensitive. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.